Ketogenic Meal Plan for Diabetics If you have diabetes, talk to your doctor before starting a ketogenic meal plan. Once you get approval from your doctor, here are some of the key building blocks of the ketogenic diet to get you started. Healthy fats, examples include saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, and some polyunsaturated fats, PUFAs, especially omega-3 fatty acids. It is best to include all of these varieties on a daily basis, with an emphasis on saturated fats, particularly compared to PUFAs. Protein, a typical recommended keto protein intake is between 1 and 1.5 grams per kilogram of your ideal body weight. To convert pounds to kilograms, divide your ideal weight by 2.2. It is important to note that kidney disease, improving global outcomes, KDGO, recommends that adults with diabetes limit their protein intake to less than 1 gram per kilogram of body weight per day and that adults with chronic kidney disease should avoid protein intake greater than 1.3 grams per kilogram per day. Carbohydrates, historically, the targeted keto diet consisted of limiting carbohydrate intake to just 20 to 30 grams per day. The refined carbs count is the amount of carbs left over once fiber is taken into account. Because fiber is indigestible once eaten, most people can't count the grams of fiber toward their daily carb delivery. In other words, total carbs, grams of fiber equals net carbs. It's the carb count that matters most. Water Drinking enough water can help you avoid fatigue and is important for good digestion. It is also necessary for detoxification. Aim to drink 10 to 12 8 ounce glasses per day. No cheat meal The main reason is that if you eat a meal that is too high in carbohydrates, it will take you out of ketosis and then it will be like you started all over again. Also, if you have a cheat meal, you may experience a return of keto flu symptoms that you did a thing of the past. Ready to dive into your new keto diet plan? Here are some examples of foods that are top choices for the ketogenic diet and for lowering blood sugar. You definitely want to add more of the following to your next grocery list. Healthy fats, MCT oil, cold pressed coconut, palm fruit, olive oil, flax seed, macadamia and avocado oil, zero carbs per tablespoon. Butter and ghee, zero carbs per tablespoon. Lard, chicken fat or duck fat, zero carbs per tablespoon. Protein, grass-fed beef and other fatty meats, try to avoid antibiotics in beef, including lamb, goat, veal, venison and other game. Fatty, fatty meat is recommended because it has higher quality omega-3 fats, zero grams of net carbs per five ounces. Poultry, including turkey, chicken, quail, pheasant, hen, goose duck, 0 grams of carbs per 5 ounces. Cage-free eggs and egg yolks, 1 gram of carbs each. Fish, including tuna, salmon, anchovies, sea bass, halibut, mackerel, salmon, sardines, and more. 0 grams of net carbs per 5 ounces. Non-starchy vegetables, all green leafy vegetables, including dandelion or beet greens, collards, mustard, turnips, arugula, chicory, endive, escarole, fennel, radicchio, romaine, sorrel, spinach, kale, kale, etc. The cup. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, 3 to 6 grams of carbs per 1 cup. Celery, cucumber, zucchini, chives and leeks, 2 to 4 grams carbs per 1 cup. Certain fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, milk, or coconut kefir, also beneficial for gut health, 1 to 2 grams of carbs per half cup. Fresh herbs, almost 0 grams of carbs per 1 to 2 scoops. Fatty fruit, avocado, 3.7 grams of carbs per half. Snacks, bone broth, homemade or protein powder, 0 grams of carbs per serving. Beef or turkey jerky, 0 grams net carbs. Hard boiled egg, 1 gram net carbs. Half avocado with sliced lox, salmon, 3 to 4 grams carbs. Minced meat wrapped in lettuce, 0 5 1 gram net carbs. 
Spice, spices and herbs, 0 grams net carbs. Hot sauce, no sweetener, 0 grams of carbs. Apple cider vinegar, 0 to 1 gram of starch. Unsweetened mustard, 0 5 1 gram net carbs. Poppy seeds, 0 grams net carbs. Drinks, water, 0 grams of carbs. Unsweetened coffee, black, and tea, drink in moderation because high amounts can affect blood sugar levels. 0 grams of carbs. Bone broth, 0 grams net carbs. Diet and prevention of diabetes. Does keto increase blood sugar? Most people see an improvement in blood sugar when following the keto diet, but some people may notice an increase in fasting blood sugar after following a very low carb diet. Let your doctor know if this happens. Are low carb diets safe for diabetics? A low carb diet like the keto diet may be safe for some diabetics if monitored appropriately while being monitored by their doctor. It is also essential that diabetics continue to follow their doctor's instructions, including appropriate use of insulin, while following any dietary restrictions. Can keto trigger diabetes? The initial findings of a study published in 2018 showed that short term feeding of a ketogenic diet appeared to trigger insulin resistance in rodent subjects. Sometimes ketosis is confused with ketoacidosis. Ketosis is the result of following a standard ketogenic diet. Ketosis occurs when glucose from carbohydrate foods is drastically reduced, which forces the body to find an alternative fuel source, fat. The end result is refueling for high ketone circulation. Ketoacidosis is what happens when ketosis goes too far. People with diabetes can develop diabetic ketoacidosis. DKA, when they don't take enough insulin, or when they are sick, dehydrated, or have a physical or emotional trauma. If you are a diabetic following the ketogenic diet, it is important that you follow this new way of eating under your doctor's supervision, check your blood sugar regularly, and take your insulin as recommended. Insulin dosage often needs to be adjusted after changing to a keto diet. It is also important to monitor the kidney function of diabetics while they are following the ketogenic diet. Final advice, a ketogenic diet is a way of eating very little carbohydrates that changes the body's fuel source from burning glucose, or sugar, to burning fat instead. Some research shows that this can help people with diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and type 1 diabetes lower blood sugar levels and reduce or eliminate the need for insulin. The keto diet has been shown to reduce obesity, which is a major risk factor for the development of diabetes. When following a diabetic ketogenic meal plan, make sure you check with your doctor about your planned nutrient intake, especially the appropriate daily amount of protein as diabetics have problems with diabetes. The kidneys need to pay attention to the amount of food eaten. While following a low-carb diet, it is essential that people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes closely monitor their blood sugar levels and adjust medication dosage as needed with the help of their doctor. Doctor Never put a child on a ketogenic diet without your doctor's approval and guidance. Untreated diabetic ketoacidosis can be fatal so seek emergency medical attention if you experience symptoms of ketoacidosis.